Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to start the next two problems, fifth and sixth. So far, I have completed one, two, three, four. First four problems and the last two problems, tenth and eleventh, also we have done in the last video. Now, uh, fifth problem. So before starting the fifth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the answer of 5th uh, and 6th, then I'll explain all the points. Now, see the 5th one. <clears throat> Show the accounting equation from the following transaction. We know accounting equation is assets is equal to capital plus liabilities or capital is equal to assets minus liabilities this is called accounting equation so some transactions are given and we have to show what is the effect on accounting equation by these transactions actually the traditional method of recording the transaction is by passing the entry for every transaction one account is debited another account is credited that is the traditional old method of recording the transaction the modern method is every transaction will affect either asset or liability or capital. So we have to find out for every transaction what is the effect of that transaction either on asset or on liability or on capital. Like that we have to write all the transactions. So in this problem, uh, first one, the format for this is like this. Serial number, transactions, assets, liabilities, capital. Remember, assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Here itself, I will write it down so that you should not forget. Assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Liabilities plus capital. Right? Now, first transaction. The first transaction is commenced business with cash, 50,000. Business started with 50,000. That means cash is coming in, cash is an asset. So you write down here, commence business with cash 50,000. So what is the effect of this transaction? Cash is coming in, so our assets will increase to 50,000 in assets. There is no liability because who is, who is bringing this cash? The owner brings the cash, that is called capital. That is called capital. So effect of this first transaction is the assets will increase by 50,000 and the capital will increase by 50,000. That's all. That is the effect of the first transaction. Second one, goods sold to Rakesh on credit cost 400 and uh, amount uh, sale price is 500. That means actually the cost price is 400 but the selling price is 500. That means 100 rupees profit. 100 rupees profit is there. The profit will be added to capital. That means the profit will increase the capital. So here sold goods to Rakesh on credit 500. The cost of the goods was 400. So first of all, the goods are going out. The goods are the assets. How much worth of goods are going out? 400. So 400 worth of goods are going out. So minus 400. And how much amount is due from Rakesh? From Rakesh, how much amount is receivable? 500. We sold the goods to Rakesh on credit for 500. The amount receivable from Rakesh is 500. That is asset. That means one asset is going out. That is stock. The other asset coming in is the receivables <coughs> or debtors. How much debtors? 500. <coughs> So minus 400 goods are going out plus 500 amount receivable from Rakesh. So our assets will decrease by 400 and another asset will increase by 500. The difference 100 rupees is the profit and profit will be added to capital. So here in capital I have added 500. So here minus 400 plus 500 and here 100 rupees added. There is no effect on liability. Now we'll find out the net effect. 50,000 minus 400 plus 500. You will get new equation 50,100. 50,000 minus 400 plus 500. No, no 
a change in the liability. Now 50,000 plus 100, 50,100. Assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Here assets, liability zero, capital 50,100. This is the new equation. Now third one, paid rent in advance. When we pay rent in advance, the effect is cash is going out. So our asset is decreased. So minus 100, minus 500. 500 is the rent. So minus 500 because cash is going out. But rent paid in advance is a prepaid rent. And prepaid rent is an asset. So in simple one words, one asset is going out, another asset is coming in. The one asset which is going out is cash. Cash is going out 500. And new asset coming in is rent paid in advance. Prepaid rent, that is an asset. So here it will affect only assets. So minus 500 plus 500. So same 50,100 is a new equation. No change in liability. 50,100 capital remains same. That's all. That is a new equation. Now next one. Fourth. Outstanding. Salary outstanding 100. <coughs> that means during the current year. 100 rupees salary not yet paid. Outstanding. It's a liability. It's a liability. So that 100 rupees will be taken under liability column. And salary it is an expense. When expense is paid, our profit will come down. When profit comes down, the capital will come down. Because more profit, more capital. Less profit, less capital. So here salary will be deducted from capital. So minus 100. So what is the effect? Liability will increase by 100 and capital will decrease by 100. So new equation 50,100, liability side 100. And capital side 50,100 minus 100, 50,000. Now you add up 150,000, you'll get 50,100. <coughs> that is a new equation. Next, sixth. Charge depreciation of 100 rupees on furniture. Charge depreciation at 100 rupees on furniture. When depreciation is provided, the asset will come down. The furniture value will come down. Depreciation will be deducted from furniture. The furniture value will come down. Assets will come down. So minus 100. Now, depreciation is a loss. By charging depreciation, the profit will come down. When profit comes down, capital will also come down. So it will be deducted. It's an expense. Remember, expenses incurred will reduce the capital. When expenses are decreased, or in other words, income increases, the capital will also increase. So here, minus 100, depreciation will be deducted from fixed assets. And depreciation is a loss. It will be deducted from capital. So 50,100 minus 100, 50,000 is the new equation. 100 rupees is the capital. 50,000 minus 100, 49,900 is the capital. <coughs> now check whether e equation is telling or not. 49,500 plus 100 is 50,000. That's all. Now, new equation 50,000. <coughs> Same thing, 50,000, 100, 49, 900. Now, next one. Goods destroyed by fire, 500. Goods destroyed by fire, 500. When goods are destroyed, our goods have decreased. That means the assets have decreased. When goods are destroyed, the assets will decrease to minus 500. And goods destroyed is a loss. It will be deducted from capital. So capital also less. So 50,000 minus 500, 49,500. This 100 liability will remain same. 49,900 minus 500, 49,400. Now check asset is equal to liability plus capital. 100 plus 49,400, 49,500. New equation. Last, seventh point, purchased household goods for 15,000, 5,000 rupees in cash and the balance through a loan. Actually, when household furniture is purchased, it is called drawing and all the payment is made from the business only. The business only payment are made, but these household items are so purchased for personal use. It is drawing and drawing will be deducted from capital. First of all, cash is going out. How much cash is paid? 5,000. So minus 5,000 in assets column. 
in assets column minus 5,000. And 10,000 rupees worth of loan is taken. Loan is taken by the business. So plus 10,000 loan. Now total 15,000 is the drawings. And drawings will be deducted from capital. So minus 15,000. So 49,500 minus 5,000, 44,500. 100 plus 10,000, 10,100. 49,400 minus 15,000, 34,400. Now check 10,100 plus 34,400. You will get 44,500. New equation talent. That's all. So this is also one of the methods of recording the transaction according to accounting equation method. <coughs> Next. Sixth problem. Journalize the following transaction means simply we have to pass the journal entries very easy problem simple problem commenced business with cash 30,000 see journal entries commenced business started business with cash cash is coming in so cash will be debited cash account debtor to capital 30,000 being the business started with cash first transaction over second paid rent cash is going out so cash should be credited Rent account should be debited. So rent account debit to cash 500 being rent paid. Third, purchased goods for cash 15,000 and for credit 10,000 from Somesh. So two purchases are there. Cash purchase and credit purchase. Both are purchases. So we debit purchases account totally. So 15,000 plus 10,000, 25,000. Total purchases are 25,000. So purchases account debt are 25,000. Out of this, how much are the cash purchases? 15,000. So two cash. Two cash. Credit column 15,000. And how much goods are purchased from Somesh? 10,000. So two Somesh, 10,000. Being the goods purchased on cash and credit. Next. <coughs> Fourth one. Bought motorcycle for 6,000. Motorcycle purchased. The motorcycle is coming in. Cash is going out. So motorcycle account data to cash. 6,000. Being motorcycle purchased for cash. Last one. Cash rupees 5,000 were taken away by the proprietor for his personal use. When the owner withdraws the cash from the business, it is called drawings. Cash is going out, so cash is credited and drawings should be debited. So entry will be drawings account data to cash 50,000 being the cash withdrawn from business for personal use. That's it. So in this video, I have completed two problems that is fifth and sixth. Inshallah, the next problem will continue in the next video. If you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and buy the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah will continue the next problem in the next video.